just had to rush home because I forgot something really important. There I was in Starbucks having a cup of coffee and uh, suddenly realised. So that's put me behind. I don't like Starbucks. Um, in general, I don't like them. But at that time, uh, early on, there's nowhere else open. And there seems to be like loads of Starbucks around town here. So uh, there's not much choice. So I call in on the way to jobs often if I'm a little bit early and I just get to uh, organize myself. So uh, yeah, and, and it's funny, you get people in there. cyclists you get people in there early on kind of on the way to work looking sharp smartly dressed and they get their car as close to the building as possible in the parking lot big parking areas are always shared by different stores and they drive up as close to the door as they can because they're so worried somebody else might get to the door before them and get in the line up first it's it's a strange thing to watch you know uh, funny how it means so much to some people just being ahead of the next person but they do it subtly you know if for example there's um, you know two cars pull up at once you know and it's kind of 50 50 who's going to get there first and you'll see the individuals they won't walk any faster than normally well they look like they're walking normally but you you look at the length of the strides they're taking and they're taking massive strides in this attempt to be first it's pathetic really but it's quite funny um you have to have some irish in you to notice such idiosyncrasies in people. Not that I have any of myself, obviously. So I got all this down just on one battery there and there's still a little bit left you know and there's a few good sized logs 
so um, yeah brilliant so that it is you know for the right kind of jobs nice and quiet so I'm gonna have a bit of a sort out of these logs that I've got down already because I don't want to bounce any others off them and have them rolling down the hill so I'll move these to one side and put them smaller and uh, leave this brush in place because it's a nice cushion where it is to absorb these um, these next bigger pieces that will come off it's a nice little log pile there Daryl would be giving 8 out of 10 for that if he was here Daryl who I used to work with regularly and there's another one over the back and um, I'm going to stop for lunch now so we just have a 20 foot stump 22 feet maybe and um, he wants to keep a couple of big pieces from that uh, so I'll make an undercut just above that stump and um, and just flop it down on the bed it's leaning back so I'll have to put a line in it and pre-tension the line so I'm just going to stop for a little bit of lunch wait one second one more thing about Starbucks just came to mind I'll tell you another type that gets under my skin and they're the ones that go in with their laptops they'll buy one drink they'll nurse it for four hours while they sit there using the free Wi-Fi put their books and shit all over the tables taking up space you know and other people come in and they can't sit down because of these individuals or this trend now if I had anything to do with the management there I timed them every one of them and in uh, you know 30 minutes on the dot I'd say right buy another drink or fuck off Look at that, off the brush and didn't damage the rhododendron. Strategically placed logs. I did tell the homeowners to go inside so don't worry there was no chance of anybody walking around here. Should have moved a little pole pruner, maybe. Nice.